What is up, TDH? It is oh, Tuesday, up, and uh, we have Mike with us. Mike showed up Friday to hang out in Florida. We don't really have much going on. I was hoping to sell my truck by the time he got down here so we could like 240 shop and then go to the compound or do something cool. Uh, but we're not really doing that, nothing crazy, but we figured we'd film. We've already done a couple things over the weekend. It wasn't really anything special, just like some vloggy stuff. and. Uh, it wasn't really worth it, like uploading to you guys, so I've made a little like montage quick thing of like what we did this past weekend And then uh, today we're gonna be messing with Talon's girlfriend's car. Uh, it's a Pontiac G6 You might remember a Pontiac G6. Yeah, there used guy. to be a Pontiac G6 on this channel with Rob's <laughs> girlfriend But it's nothing crazy. We're just like kind of vloggy like hanging out, you know, TDH stuff uh, The radiator has a leak so we're gonna try to do like a little JB weld patch on it um, maybe, possibly, Hopefully. if it's not that bad. Other than that, everyone's wearing TDH gear but me. And I even look for my t-shirts. <laughs> we well, called her out, but <laughs> whatever. All right, guys, so enjoy the little montage of this past weekend, and then we'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> um, it used to be, it's like seven. Five and seven? Seven? What is seven? seven. That was filmed yesterday, guys. Mike showed up, and my girlfriend ended up ordering a pizza through the Groupon app thing, and we had to rush off, and we ended up not filming. But what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Two different primers. Kind of nervous and nervous. We're making the rounds because we're in the old coal sack. Look how depressing our old house looks, guys. That doesn't. That doesn't. That burns. Follow our channel from the beginning. That was our house and. We used to do a lot of burnouts and donuts, and you can see it in the intro that Mike always posts. So the neighbor. So we found the culprit. It is the radiator. Mike is doing his mic thing and looking for radiators online. You want to start it up real quick and show them? Sure. So it's nothing related to the channel, but it's automotive and... A friend needs help, so we were giving them a hand. Oh yeah, there it goes. Alright, you can shut it off. Thanks. Oh man, I'm stepping on my stuff. So not a whole lot has been uh, going on with us. Just... Napa's got it for 168. Oh man. It looks like you're going uh, with... Advance is the best option, but you got to call them and see if they can get it tomorrow. Or if they have it at a different store. Or, yeah, if they, well, or I, I searched and it said, out of stock, out of stock, out of nice. stock, out of stock. So give them a holler and see what's oh, up. Oh, Jesus. So we've got the Chevrolet or the GM product over there. I'll pull the part, get the radiator out. It's actually laying there by my tires. Mike's pulling his 240 around because we're gonna double check the rear end on it. Make sure everything's good and golden after his trip. Because if it rains, we're gonna go play out in some parking lots or do something with the old S13. So we're gonna jack her up. Uh, we have a radiator on order for that. I showed you guys where it was leaking from. Hold on. So here's the radiator, guys. The fans are still attached to it and little clips for the uh, transmission cooler lines, but it was leaking up here at the top. You guys saw those, those last clips. Got it all out. He got a radiator ordered from Advanced Auto. We found one online, got a part number in for them, and we got one for how much? Like 100 bucks? 106. Yeah, 106 and some change. Sweet. <laughs> so now we're going to mess with Mikey's car. With primer on the top. With primer on the tire and primer on the car. Primer everywhere. Oh, yeah. Primer life. That's a cute smile.
We've uh, done some inspecting on inspecting. Mike's rear end. Inspector gadget. Inspector gadget on your rear end. No homo, sir, so you've been uh, checking out the 240. <laughs> it's uh, it's really... <laughs> you just understood it? <laughs> so we've been checking out the 240 after his trip. It has uh, checked out in all areas. The rear subframe looks good back here. Exhaust hangers look good. A little bit of a gas smell, but I did uh, overflow... Overfill, overfill the gas before and replace so. those two lines there's if you guys look i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it but i replaced we replaced the one line when we did my fuel. there they are there they are guys yeah i did my fuel pump uh when i was down here still and then um you get a fuel return line when we yeah, were living down here when hurricane harvey's butt end decided to uh hit north carolina my fuel line went out one of the fuel lines, the other one went out, so I replaced that too, so. Other than that, it's really clean under here. Looks really good. All the control arm bushings are good. Hub is good back here. We shook down the rear end. And we checked out the front end and we found that it got a little bit of an oil leak, but other than that, it's, it's pretty good. Typical 240 stuff. I'm thinking it's the... Uh, valve cover gasket. Yeah, it's a valve cover gasket from me taking it on and off about a thousand times, so I'm gonna order one of those and get that fixed and replaced and everything. Other than that, we're gonna pop the hood, check the KA. We're gonna sand this down while you're down here now. I don't have primer. No, we won't we'll just take off all that uh, dry spray oh, right yeah, there. We can do that, I guess. If you're bored. This is like that too. Yeah same thing on my truck. I have some areas like that. Which guys uh, by the way I also figured out why I did that. I did not adjust my pressure on the uh, on the air compressor. So it was pretty much just blowing paint out instead of nice like a nice thin even yeah. layer it's been like this this the doors i did and they're properly done there is a little bit i mean here, yeah dude, you just hit this with some 320 yeah, worst case you go over to another this you guys can obviously tell i've not resprayed yet but if this, you go back in one of the webisodes we do like a whole ceiling thing on it it's still, it's, hilarious. it's still like that and on this i'm gonna have to figure out how to make this look pretty because it looks like crap because the windshield's clean there's no need to replace it and he's only got well, like one crack there and one crack over I there. I didn't even notice that. Thanks for pointing that out. What? <laughs> the little crack. <laughs> oh, in the, in the dashboard? No, on the... Oh, were you talking about the dashboard? Is there one on the windshield? There's a, a little chip. Oh, it Where was not pointed? a crack crack though. No, it's not crack crack. Crack 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 I crack 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 everywhere. crack. The old KA is checking out. She's uh, got oil in her. She's looking good. It's pretty clean under here. Mike, uh, last time me and Mike filmed together, we were chilling in his garage, uh, recovering from the bolt that decided to take a swim. <laughs> Which is getting framed and put in the back of the car. You still have it? Hell yeah, I still have it. So, not a whole lot's gonna be going on from, I don't know like what we're doing from this point on. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure something out, hopefully, we'll maybe it looking a little bit, make sure nothing else We're waiting on Talon's radiator. Yeah. What are you doing over there, bud? He's bored. He's you want to learn about a K? A real man's motor? A real... <laughs> yeah, you want to learn about a real man's motor? You guys better get used motor? to seeing a K or maybe an SR. We'll see. Oh, come on, Travis. Oh, I got your... Oh, I got come on! It was beautiful, and I can't clean it. Say what's up. Hi to YouTube. You're on YouTube. <laughs> if you hit my car, you're going to be doing body work for years. So the fans are off the radiator, as you guys can see, swinging it around, everyone's being wild. His radiator is now uh, in the shop. So we're gonna take the old one up there. In the shop. In the or, shop. Excuse me, sorry, advanced auto, my fault. Take the uh, the old one up there, compare it to the new one, make sure it has all the correct corresponding parts and the little screw pieces for the AC condenser, all the Still nonsense. So, yep, the 240 is good. Maybe when it rains later today, we'll take her out and see what's up. Other than that, we're going to get this new radiator for Talon and hook that up and then probably just wrap this video up for you guys. And me and Mike have a couple videos that we're going to work on together uh, tonight or later today or something. So. <laughs> the we have made it back to the garage. The radiator is now in there. Dalton's hanging out with us. Uh, Talon had to run back and get some Dex Cool because we got the green stuff over the counter. 
Besides that, I just gotta tighten up this uh, hood latch. You pop that little sensor back in, put the headlights back in, and it's done. There it goes. Another job done. Mike, you're in the clip no matter what, bro. Nah. It was worth a shot trying to get out of it? Eh, I found a new way to get into your neighborhood without the cops. The far one back here? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of speed bumps, so the, Yeah, it sucks. So that is a wrap for today's work. I, it wasn't too much going on, just some shenanigans, some traditional TDH nonsense. I figured I'd do a little bit of vlogging. I'll show you guys that Mike is down here in Jacksonville for this uh, upcoming week to hang out with us. So if you guys are in the area, anybody uh, that was TDH fans in, in the Jacks area, you want to come do some shenanigans, figure something out, I don't know. We have no idea. We're literally just hanging out. And Dude, as you guys can see, working on stuff. We'll meet up on Thursday or something the day before I leave. Figure something out, so. Uh, if you guys are watching this and uh, you are a returning subscriber, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that like button for us. Uh, drop a comment below, let us know how you guys are feeling, what you guys want to see. And uh, if you have any information on like car meets or anything that's going on in this area. If you guys are a new, a new viewer, excuse me, I'm, I'm awful at closing these. I say this every video and now that Mike's with me, he can actually like watch me suck at this. But if you guys are a, a new viewer, it would be awesome if you hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below, let us know what's going on, who you are, and uh, we try to get back to everybody and comment and everything. But anything else? And as always, <laughs> I love yeah. each and every one of you. Until next time, I will see you guys later. <laughs>